Okay. Sersha. Joe. Thanks for taking the time to answer 73 questions. I'm honored. So honored also myself to be in London. I know. What are you doing in London? Just packing up my suitcase. Do you want to come in? Yes. Great. Okay. How often um, do you have downtime these days? Oh gosh, it depends on how much I'm working. How should I spend my time right after this interview in London? Go get some food. What's your favorite podcast right now? Mm, still processing. Okay. And you're packing? I am. So where are you off to? Going to Dublin. Do you have any pets? I do. Do you collect anything? Locks of hair. Why? Next question. What's a cause that's close to your heart? Uh, the ISPCC. What book hasn't been adapted that you would love to be a part of? Well, I can't tell you that because it is being adapted. Well, can you at least tell me who you'd cast as the lead? Definitely me. <laughs> would you ever consider writing or directing? I would, yeah. What's the most treasured thing that you own? Um, gosh, it would be a toss-up between this ring, which is my grandmother's, mm -hmm. and my fine, fun friend, oh, Pip. Pip. Yeah. Hey, what skill did you have to learn on a film that you still utilize to this day? Uh, I'm trying to keep up the French. What real person in history would you love to portray on film? Mary Queen of Scots. Is it easier to play a character that resembles you or someone living or a completely fictitious one? Easier to play someone fictitious, I would say. Easiest accent to nail? Generic English. Most difficult? Irish. What's something you always travel with? Mmm... This. Pretty obvious, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite stamp in that passport? Uh, New Zealand. What's the stamp that you're dying to get in that passport? India. What was it like hosting SNL? It was an absolute dream come true. <gasps> so when you board that plane, window seat or aisle seat? Window. Best habit? Um, writing in my journal before bed. Worst habit? Biting my nails. What's the best advice you've ever received? Be nice to everyone and make your own cup of tea on set. Come in. Scariest movie ever made? Get Out. What movie makes you laugh every single time? Bridesmaids. If you weren't acting, what do you think you'd be doing with your life? Probably directing or working in radio. Thanks. You're welcome. Come on down, it's tea time. Great. What's a film of yours you wish more people would pay attention to? Uh, How I Live Now. Do you do your own stunts? Yeah. What's been the hardest? Probably being strapped to the bottom of a truck in the Sahara Desert for an hour. How did you roll out of that car in Lady Bird? I just opened the door and did a drop and roll. All right, tea time. T tea, tea time. time. Tea, tea time. Hoi, <laughs> hoi. This is going to be the best tea of your life. All right. Do you always prefer tea over coffee? Yeah, always. Are we having tea with or without milk? With milk. I should have known that. What's your mandatory breakfast? Uh, rye bread, mashed avocado on top, poached egg, and spinach. I'm excited for this. Mm. There we go. There we go. Now, your name, Sersha, is often a topic of questioning. Yeah. What does that name mean? It means freedom. So, if you're ever confused about how to pronounce my name, you can just call me Freedom. What's the most creative pronunciation of your name you've ever heard? Sally and Jasmine, which are two entirely different names. Do you have a middle name that's equally Gaelic and difficult to pronounce? Unity, which in Irish is Una. If you could uh, make up your own name like in Lady Bird, what would it be? Um, Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. All right. <laughs> if I disappeared and was replaced with a historical figure, who would you want to be having tea with? Definitely Mary Queen of Scots. What costume in all the films that you've been in has been your favorite? Um, a beautiful floral skirt that I wore in Brooklyn. What's the all-time greatest clothing purchase you've ever made? I bought this beautiful uh, Saint Laurent bag, which is very, very fancy. Have you ever uh, stolen anything from wardrobe? <laughs> no. What's the most fashionable film character? Uh, any character that Audrey Hepburn's ever played. Most iconic costume of any character ever? That white dress that Marilyn Monroe wears in Some Like It Hot. Okay, can you uh, yell the answer to the next question outside of this window right here? Yeah, absolutely. What's your favorite dessert? I don't like dessert, okay? So you're born in Ireland, right? No, I was actually born in the Bronx. But you grew up in Ireland? I grew up in a tiny little town called Ardatton. And how often do you visit home? As often as I can. Mm. What do you miss most about Ireland when you're away? The crack. The crack? Not the drug. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. <laughs> how well do you speak the Irish language? Uh, pretty well. Can you answer the next question in a little bit of Irish? Yeah. On average, how many scripts do you read each week? Mmm, ever a doubt. That's the telephone. 
That's normally how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> what is the first movie that you remember seeing? Titanic. It's a classic. Hello. Dave, how's it going? How's Linda? And the kids? Oh my God, she's eight years old now. That's so crazy. Okay, I'll tell him. Taxi's here. True or false? Your mom is the best plus one at award ceremonies. True. You gave Timothy Chalamet a fake ID. False. You're one of seven children. That's absolutely false. Ed Sheeran has you tattooed on his body. Uh, he doesn't have me tattooed onto his body, but he does have my handwriting tattooed onto his body. Speaking of that guy, does this interview remind you of that Galway Girl music video you were starring in? Yeah, it's exactly the same. <laughs> what song makes you cry? Um, Song to the Siren by This Mortal Coil and Sweet Baby James by James Taylor. What's the most overworn item in your wardrobe? Probably these trainers. Secret skill or talent? I have no secret skills or talents. Well, what's the talent that you wish you had? Probably juggling, because I reckon I would make an amazing juggler. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what's something you learned recently that completely blew your mind? There are more fake flamingos in the world than real flamingos. Mm. What's your favorite color to wear? Uh, red and blue. What's your favorite look you've worn on the red carpet? Probably the Calvin Klein dress to the Oscars. It was pink. Which one of these dogs uh, do you want to own? That one. That's a good choice. Yeah. What jumps out at you in a good script? Good pace. Growing up on movie sets, what was it like leaving a production and jumping on to the next? It was really sad. Speaking of sad, last question. Question oh, number no! 73. What's the biggest misconception Americans have about the Irish? Uh, the Irish goodbyes are not real. It's not a real thing, America, okay? Huh, really? Well, look, this is Could you just me... turn off that record player for oh, me? Oh, sure, please? absolutely. Thanks. This is such a cool record. Sersha? Sersha? Huh. Okay. <laughs>